What's up, guys? It's a rainy Friday afternoon, and I just got out of the movie theater seeing The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, a.k.a. The Conjuring 3, which is a lot simpler and faster to say. Uh, quick, spoiler-free thoughts here. Pete and I are going to be back on Sunday with a live, uh, deep discussion about this film. Spoiler-heavy in that one. This one, no spoilers. Just going to give you some quick thoughts. Uh, first off, easily the least of the Conjuring films for me. And, and I don't mean the Conjuring universe. I mean just those three Conjuring movies. Uh, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I, this was not a bad movie by any stretch. It just doesn't hold up to the insane quality of James Wan's first two films. And I think what's clearly missing here is James Wan himself. He just has a flair for directing horror. Uh, he knows what to do with the camera specifically. And those other first two films had uh, an air of... Uh, the demons were a lot more pronounced. That's what I'll say. You had Bathsheba in The Conjuring. You had uh, Valak and the Crooked Man uh, in, in The Conjuring 2. Here you have more of a, a straight up kind of possession cult uh, type of film. Ties back to a lot of what went on in the original Annabelle. John Noble, uh, who I loved for years in the show Fringe, he guest stars in this movie and he does a pretty decent job. Uh, but again, you go to these movies, you're going there for the Warrens and Vera Farmiga and Patrick Wilson as Lorraine and Ed Warren are the standouts of this movie. They are excellent. Uh, and my, if I was going to really complain about this movie, it's this isn't really a complaint about the movie. I think it's more a complaint about my expectations. The Devil Made Me Do It. This is about uh, the trial of Arnie Johnson, who claimed that the devil made him kill this man. And Ed and Lorraine Warren are there to help prove that he was possessed at the time of the murder. I went into this movie kind of expecting an exorcism of Emily Rose type film where we were going to get some courtroom drama. And there isn't a lot of that. This movie is Ed and Lorraine Warren going out and digging and finding, uh, going after the source of the possession of Arnie Johnson. And Arnie is in prison. Uh, there's a lot of good, you know, exorcism stuff. But unfortunately, I felt like the exorcism stuff is stuff that we've seen before, both in The Conjuring films and in other places. Uh, the entire opening scene of this movie while it is very good, it did remind me of almost copy and paste from The Exorcist. And this movie just didn't hit the scares that the first two Conjuring films did. I'm 39 years old. Those first two Conjuring movies have moments where the jump scares got me. This movie, not so much. Uh, that being said, the people in my movie theater, there were some screams. Uh, a couple girls kept getting up and literally running out of the theater. I don't know if they were just kind of being annoying or if they were legit scared. Um, but I'll give the movie credit for it uh, from my point of view. So overall, again, as, as, as few spoilers as possible, if you want to see Ed and Lorraine Warren, Patrick Wilson, and Vera Farmiga from this Conjuring universe, go out there and do what they do in these films, then you are going to enjoy this movie. This is not a bad movie by any stretch of the imagination. I'm, I'm thinking somewhere in the three to three and a half star out of five range uh, for me. But as somebody who just rewatched Conjuring and Conjuring 2, directed by James Wan, this feels like there's just a little something missing that those first two movies had. I think it's easily the least of the three. That being said, if A Conjuring 4 came out, I'm going to go right back there and I'm going to check it out because even the not great Conjuring movie 
was a pretty decent Conjuring movie. So stay tuned to the Lasser cast on Friday. Uh, today's Friday. On Sunday, Pete and I are going to have a full spoiler-filled uh, discussion of Conjuring 3. The devil made me do it. Until then, this has been Danny from the Lasser cast. See you soon.